little ants crawling all over this ant line. Um, now this is a dot, dotted felt ant line. That's what this species of ant line is known as. Um, Pulperus sobrinus. Now my Latin, my Latin is a little bit rusty. I did do Latin at school, believe it or not. Sorry, I'm just trying to move so you can see a little bit more of this ant line. And the head, and look at the ants feeding on it. Look at that. That's very interesting. So obviously this ant line is dead. I don't think they've got a particularly long lifespan. I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but I think once they turn into the, this flying ant line, they basically are made to mate, and then eventually they die off. And then we know the the larva stage of the ant line is the one that they build those wonderful, almost like tunnels, um, little cone-shaped or yeah, you know, basically cone-shaped funnels in the sand, and they try and trap insects that walk through but look at the beautiful colors and the dots on the wings you can understand why it's called a dotted felt ant line because of all those patterns over there you be so careful with how you move this very sensitive but look at those ants moving around too this is fascinating just shows you how much actually goes on that we don't really see and every now and then you can see the mandibles of these ants too. I'm fascinated by all the hairs. I mean, if you look at the ant line, you don't see it. But look at the hairs on the wings, those sharp little spikes on the wings. And, um, and, and the hairs around the body. Really is fascinating.